now at six, exclusive video of a takedown outside a well-known landmark South Florida restaurant. This was the scene Friday night outside of the Versailles restaurant on Southwest 8th Street. The two men on the ground and being arrested are alleged police impersonators. And what led up to this? Well, you might find it all just a little strange. CBS 4's Peter Dench is live at Versailles in Little Havana with the story. Peter. Well, Francis's brand new cell phone video comes from a witness who was here Friday night at the Versailles restaurant. It started with a routine investigation of accused police impersonators who quickly got out of hand, but so police detectives were attacked. This tape shows the tension. It is just after 9 Friday night outside the Versailles restaurant. A witness, Eddie and Cabrales, documents a takedown of two accused police impersonators. Miami police say the two suspects have spent a few days at the restaurant claiming to be federal agents and when confronted got violent. There was a physical altercation between the three detectives and the two men. Additional police officers were uh, requested to respond to the scene. 51-year-old Ishmael Diaz is arrested after police say he punched a detective and tried to rip his shirt off. Police say 48-year-old Alberto Nunez Horta was even more violent. One of them uh, grabbed one of our detectives by the throat. Nunez Horta allegedly tried to choke the detective and punched him in the face. <laughs> Police say they were busted after taking their Belgium Malinois as a service dog to the restaurant for a few days where they told customers they were federal agents. They were also bothering patrons that were going table to table, showing them something on a computer and on a phone. To this day, we still don't know what the images were, and that's something that detectives are looking at. When they were arrested, police say they had a two-way radio and a weapon here at Versailles. It does bother me. Why? You know, because they can uh, violate your rights and take you away, intimidate you. Diaz and Nunez Horta face charges including battery and law enforcement officers, disorderly conduct, and false impersonation of police. What offends you the most about it, hearing about that? That people are using authorities' names to, to exert power, false power. Police say if you think you've encountered police impersonators, call 911 or go to a secure location. Now, police say that Diaz claimed he was with the CIA and was a five-star general. They also say Nunez Horta claimed that he was with Homeland Security. I did speak with both men by telephone, and they both told me and insisted they were investigating for the federal government. We should note a judge in this case did order a psychiatric evaluation. We're live in Miami, Peter Dench, CBS 4 News.